today we're going to solve this quadratic equation. And uh, so far, the method that we always use to solve quadratic equations is factoring. But as I look at this monster here, uh, 527, I'm just really not looking forward to uh, trying to find the factors of a number like 527. So I'm wondering if there might be another way to go about this. And uh, as you may have guessed, there is. It's called completing the square. Now, what we want to do is we want to get something squared on this side of the equation equaling something squared on that side of the equation. Okay, and uh, so let me, uh, let's start off by looking at um, some patterns that we see of perfect squares. And this is what I mean. Let's look at x plus 1 squared. Well, x plus 1 squared is, uh, let's say it's going to be x plus 1 times x plus 1. So that's going to be x squared plus x plus another x plus 1. So it ends up being x squared plus 2x plus 1. And let's look at another example. Let's look at x minus 7 squared. That's x minus 7 times x minus 7, which ends up being x squared minus 7x minus 7x plus 49. Okay, and that's x squared minus 14x plus 49. One more. x plus 9 squared. Um, that's x plus 9 times x plus 9. And that equals x squared plus 9x plus 9x plus 81. So it's going to be x squared plus, combining these, 18x plus 81. Okay. Let's look at the patterns that are going on here. Uh, we always have three terms. The first term is x squared. That's easy enough. The second term, in this case, uh, 2x minus 14x plus 18x. If we look at how this relates to our original binomial that was squared, the coefficient that goes with x, 2, is 2 times 1. Negative 14 is 2 times negative 7. 18 is 2 times 9. And the last number that we have, uh, this 1, this is merely 1 squared. This 49, this is merely 7, or negative 7, squared. And this 81, this is merely 9 squared. So I can make a generalization. And that generalization is, that I have, if I have x plus some number k squared, that that's going to be x squared plus, remember what happens here? We double that number, 2k times x plus k squared. OK? Remember that pattern. This is going to be a really important pattern as we go forward. OK? Matter of fact, I'm going to leave that written down there. So now, back to our problem. OK, step one, let's get that over there. OK, let's subtract 527 from both sides. So I have x squared minus 48x equals negative 527. Now what I want to do is I want to match this side of my equation. I want it to be a perfect square. So that means I want it to look like this thing down here. I want it to look like something like that. I've got the x squared. That's fine. And I've got this middle term, minus 48x. Okay? The minus 48, that's what is multiplied times the x there. So that's got to be what the 2k is. That means that k must be half of this, which is negative 24. So now all I have to do is just add k squared, which is negative 24 squared. All right, well, I happen to know uh, that 24 squared is 576, and that means that negative 24 squared is also 576. So I'm going to add 576 here and 576 over on this side. Okay, 
that's really the most important part of the entire process because now from here everything's going to flow pretty easily. This we designed it specifically to be a perfect square. So this is x minus 24 squared. 24 being, or negative 24 being half of uh, negative 48, and it being the number that when you square it, it equals 576. That equals, uh, looks like 49 to me. Okay? Now you look at this, and you say, okay, first off, let me get rid of this part now. Now you look at this and you say, okay, what number squared equals 49? Well, I know, 7. Except there's another one as well, negative 7. 7 squared is 49, negative 7 squared is also 49. So that means this x minus 24 could be 7, or it could also be negative 7. And a quick way to write that is plus or minus 7. All that means is 7 or negative 7. Okay? So now we just add 24 to both sides and we get x equals 24 plus or minus 7. 24 minus 7 is 17. 24 plus 7 is 31. And those are my two values of x.